sisters, mothers, aunts, and women around the world. Greetings to those who have been scared of bidings. Greetings to those who are present today to hear the words of the silence broken. Greetings to those who have faced the harsh reality of the living. Be still and hear the traumatic memories of the past, present, and future. Don't be blind for here are the true words of the slander. Today is the day. Today, I send off all women to ignite their voices and bring love to those who have been tampered upon. Today is the day. Yesterday is strip of innocence. Today, I stand with the victims. Tomorrow, you must stand with me. Dear Rabbi Josh and viewers, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Serena Evangelia Putri Susanto from Uin Radin Masaid, Surakarta, and it's such a blessing from Allah that I can stand here in front of you virtually to deliver a speech entitled Sexual Abuse and Equality Against Women. So, it disgusts me today. Every day that more than 85% of women worldwide experience some form of sexual abuse in the last times. But most of us don't report it. Most of us shush. Most of us say cold and quiet. Why is it worse speaking by you, may ask? From continent to continent, country after country, no one is completely safe from sexual abuse. Now is the time to raise your voices, women. Let the world hear your roars. Let the world know you've suffered pain. We were once dependent on men. They looked down on us like a lion facing on a helpless stamps. We grew close and broke free of their clutches. Broke free, I tell you. Broke free from dark hours of the past. We as women, as females, is dark to speak of. Why is it that our society neglects the voices of women? Is it because we're not strong enough? Why is it our society fast for women praises men? Is it because we're doing worse? No, it is because the very thought of men being more highly respected has been branded in minds of human ever since the beginning. When Taylor Swift fell for a sexual abuse case against ex and Miller, did anyone believe her? I can no longer bear to express my frustration seeing this as reality in our imperial. I am deeply sedan that our society has no respect for women. We are rejected. We are ignored. We are mute from all our wars and is yet forgotten. The world says women are weak, but I said they're unbreakable. They've gone through such a traumatizing even yet they have the strength to continue their lives. The shadows of sexual abuse is a silent killer that lurks quietly and shuts the notice, according to national domestic violence organizations. Shockingly, one in four women have experienced abuse from a Current or phone call. Furthermore, sexual abuse is still an ongoing problem in our world that must be resolved. Listen, my authorities. Our children are the generation of tomorrow. They must and most be fought the lasting impact of sexual abuse in order to change it. They must and most be aware of their body parts and what needs to be private must stay private in order to change it. They must and most be educated on how to defend themselves in order to change it. Sexual abuse is a crime, and it must change now. Rise, the sisters. Rise from your feet. Rise from your abusers. Rise from the pain you've endured. Rise and pull your burning and draw. Do you not fear the consequences, they ask? Why must we fear? We have nothing to fear. It is our right. This is our right. We fight until we get what we deserve. We raise our voice until it's heard. We do not give up. We persist until we have what rightfully belongs to us. As sexual resident survivor Angela Johnny once said, there is no shame on being a survivor of sexual violence. The shame is an aggressor. Today is today. Yesterday was stripped of innocence. Today, I stand with the victims. Tomorrow, you stand with me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.